Hey, you! What's up? Whoa, whoa! You should just stay still. Perfect. When considering the greatest Christmas films of all time, you should take into account which movie has the spirit of the holidays that also infuses a great story with sentimental characters. In the case of Disney's The Santa Claus, we not only get a hilarious Christmas comedy, but the film goes deeper than traditional laughs. The movie is all about believing in the spirit of Christmas, while also using comedy actor Tim Allen as the tool that drives this movie home. And no, we are not talking about home improvement, although the nature of that character is very apparent in this film. The Santa Claus is about a man named Scott Calvin, a toy maker who inadvertently kills Santa Claus on Christmas Eve. Scott finds himself magically taking over Santa's place, even if he chooses not to believe in it. Well, he was. He's got some ID on him, I bet. Fella, if you can hear me, I'm just looking for your identification. Once you figure out who you are, I'll, I'll give you a lift back to the mall. If something should happen to me, put on my suit, the reindeer will know what to do. Yeah, right. This movie has loads of laughs and is the perfect traditional holiday film for families to enjoy. When The Santa Claus was originally written, Disney had their sights set on Bill Murray as Scott Calvin. However, because Tim Allen was killing it with his hit TV show, Home Improvement, a Disney-owned property, they decided to take a very risky chance on him. Disney has a very strict policy when it comes to hiring criminals. They just don't do it. And Tim Allen, at an early point in his life, was a convicted felon who learned the error of his ways. Disney's chance on Alan was a great one, and the relationship between Tim and Disney has spanned almost two decades with Home Improvement, The Santa Claus, Jungle to Jungle, The Shaggy Dog, and the more famously Toy Story. Alan brings his A-game here and is such a delight in this film. In celebration of Christmas and the spirit of Santa Claus, we will go over some fun facts that fans may not know about this great holiday classic. It's interesting to note that this first Santa Claus movie is the only one that doesn't feature a villain. This movie focuses on the transition of Scott into Santa, and the use of a villain was unnecessary. After Santa falls off the roof, Scott runs into a magical ladder that mysteriously appears out of nowhere. Look here, Dad. The row such a ladder company. Huh? Out by the roof, there's a row such a ladder, just like the poem. Just like the poem. The letter that appears came from the Rose Such a Clatter Company, which is a direct reference to the Night Before Christmas story, where the book says, there arose such a clatter. I'll carry the stuff up there and let them deal with it, okay? <laughs> Whoa. This guy was huge. Another funny scene involves Scott visiting his doctor, and when the doctor listens to his heartbeat, the beat is in the tune of Jingle Bells. Because Tim Allen's show, Home Improvement, was such a big hit in the early 90s, a lot of isms from the show made it into this film. Brings one to mind. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. One being the classic Tim Taylor grunt. After Christmas Eve, Scott grunts flying away with the reindeer. All right. Morning, fellas. Morning, sport. We're done, Comet. Oh, oh, oh. Back to the house. Merry Christmas to all. And to all a good night. When I wake up, I'm getting a CAT scan. Another home improvement moment involves Scott as he is trying to steer the sled. 
he runs into a man driving a truck and Scott asks him how he gets to the I-95 freeway. The man driving the truck is the actor who played Benny Baroni from Home Improvement. Another nod is when Scott visits his workshop, he picks up a big tool belt and dismisses it, saying that tools aren't for him, which is ironic because his character was known as Tim the Tool Man Taylor. There is a scene in the movie when Scott reads the back of a business card and jokingly says the line, 1-800-SPANK-ME. After the film's release, a woman complained to Disney that she called the number and found out that the phone number was a phone sex line. Disney quickly bought the phone number and disconnected it due to fear that other people would call the number and complain. The Santa Claus is a great, heartwarming holiday film that has become a part of the Christmas tradition. Regardless what you may think about the sequel films, the first Santa Claus movie showcases Tim Allen at his peak, involving a lot of laughs which makes for great comedy and fun. The Santa Claus is by no means It's a Wonderful Life or A Miracle on 34th Street, but it's a movie that engages your emotions and brings the spirit of Santa and Christmas to life in a way that we haven't seen before. So let's make this simple. I say name, you say Scott Calvin. Name? Chris Kringle. Name? Santa Claus. Name? Père Noël. Babo Natale. Père Nicole. Papa Gijo.